uh, so much flooding in the Houston area and it being such a hub of American refining, no doubt we're going to get hit at the gas pump here in Michigan. We're already seeing an increase in prices. Average price for gas in our state at $2.47 a gallon. That's up six cents from just a week ago. It's um, eight cents higher actually than the prices a year ago. Let's bring in our business editor Rob Maloney to have a look at what's going on here. All right, you hear it every time there's a major storm like this and you want to know, okay, what is really going on here? Why do we here in Michigan end up paying a higher price for gasoline for things that are going on very far away from us? Well, the fact of the matter is there are 10 refineries right now in the Houston area that are down and it's likely they're going to be down for at least a week and maybe even longer. And so a lot of the gasoline that gets made there finds its way here to Michigan and we burn it. Like it or not, that's the deal. But it's a strange pricing situation on Wall Street because for most of the day, West Texas Intermediate Crude was down over a dollar a gallon, down as low as a dollar and a half a gallon. But you have to make gasoline out of that oil. And so the oil futures have jumped up to $1.72 a gallon. That's up 7% to the highest prices we've seen in the last couple of years. And so what that means to us is there's roughly an 80 cent markup there. So you're looking at 250 to 255 a gallon here for us in the state of Michigan. And it comes at a rather inopportune time because considering this coming weekend is going to be the big Labor Day holiday travel weekend, the best advice is it's probably a better idea for you to go out and top off the tank now if you can so you're not paying those prices later on in the week. The sad part about all of this is if this goes on for much longer, we could see even longer delays, tighter supplies, and the prices going even higher. In Ann Arbor, Rod Maloney, Local 4.